Well, what's going on, everyone? Bashar Ketu here with BJK University. Today, we have Lorraine with us, who's one of our most awesome students at BJK University. I mean, just look at her smile. Um, <laughs> super excited to be here with you, Lorraine. Uh, you know, don't want to take too much time. I want to give you the floor, and I want you to share with us, you know, uh, who's Lorraine? You know, how did you get started? Why Amazon? Because I know a lot of people, whether if they're already in BJK University starting out um, or looking to start selling on Amazon, you know, always have a bunch of questions, always have a bunch of things that we've kind of come up with a, a small list of questions that we want to ask you. But before we get into there, why don't you tell us a little bit more about why did you choose Amazon FBA out of everything else? Okay. I'm done a lot of research on uh, businesses. I've been an entrepreneur for many years. I've been a CEO for many years, worked 20 hour days. Successful, yes. Um, but now I'm retired and now I want to do what I want to do. I don't want, to, even though I'm CEO, I have a lot of employees. I've got a lot of, uh, um, like the federal government, the state department, this department, everybody got their hand in your pocket, you know, mm -hmm. and you're trying to keep everybody happy and keep this business going. So it's extremely stressful, but I thrive under stress. So it was good. But now that I'm retired, I want to do what I want to do. I've done a lot of research, done some investments, uh, done a lot of uh, looking up on Walmart and um, new products that are coming out that are new inventions, you know, all different things that are going on. But Amazon, is amazing. It's an amazing platform. Uh, anybody can sell here. Anybody uh, can run a business. Uh, with the right training, you can do this. It, it's, it's not that difficult, but you have to put in the work. Some people will think, you know, well, I can find a product, I can sell it. Well, how come it's not selling? Well, you need more work. It does take the work to do it. And when you do it, you'll, you'll reap the rewards of it. Uh, but you need a good uh, you need a good training platform, and because Amazon has such a good platform itself, you need the training platform to match. It has to be really good, you know. And you put the two together, and you can only go up. That's interesting. So you said you're retired. Why are we here? Why are we here? Yeah. Because I'm a workaholic and I want to make money. Why don't you just do what <laughs> retired people do. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to retire um, 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 when I'm like really old. Mm. I'm retired from this part of my journey. Mm. Now I'm on to my next part of my journey. I'm still young, healthy, and I can make more money. You know, I can make a more comfortable retirement. You know, and if it, God forbid, anything should happen to me, I want to make sure my husband is taken care of. You know, Got so it. I have different streams of income that are going to be filtered into our account that, so that he won't have to worry. So you to know? you, this is not even like work, work, right? That's a lot of fun. Why do you <laughs> say is. that? Well, what's fun about it? Um, I enjoy research. I love to research. I love when I find that nugget, something that information that's so valuable. Um, I, I like the process of being able to be self-sufficient and not have to depend on someone else for my income, for my uh, success. I depend on me. The buck stops here. And no matter what happens with what I'm doing, I'm the one who takes responsibility for it. Not, oh, well, you taught me this, so it's your fault. I'm like, no, take responsibility. If this doesn't work, find something else find another uh, way to go about it. You have the idea, you're, you're set to go, but you, you've got to make it happen. Uh, get more uh, information. It's all about researching information. Uh, like the class that you have here is amazing, but the students in here are your branches to the tree. So you're the tree, okay? And all the students are the, are the, are the branches with all this, with a plethora of information, right? They all come from different backgrounds, business background, marketing background, accounting background. You have so many here and it's all about sharing and they're all willing to do that. So it's not that you go into a class, learn something that you have a problem, email and 
24 to 48 hours, somebody will get back to you, maybe if you're lucky and if they feel like, you know, your question warrants it. This, you can have 1,000 people ask the same question, but they're, each one of them is new. Right. And you'll have people jumping in to answer and help out. This is amazing, you know, and, and, and the higher the questions go, the more difficult they get. Even if they don't know the answer, they're going to find it. Right. They're going to get it. And there's going to be more than one person doing it. So you're going to have different uh, re people researching along with yourself trying to figure it out. So right. you put it all together and you've got the answer. And now you keep moving up the ladder. So let me ask you this, Lorraine. I mean, you're a sharp person. You're not like the average Joe out there. Your CEO have had companies, have managed businesses, have managed employees, done all that. The question is, you know, why didn't you start selling on Amazon by yourself? And then should it not have worked? Maybe start looking for someone to show you. Well, why did you look for someone to show you how it was done? Uh, research. It, you just can't do this on your own. <laughs> it's, it just doesn't work that way. If you think you can, and you're, to me, I feel you're setting yourself up for failure because there's just too much going on. You need to understand your PPC and your marketing. You need to understand your product. You need to understand these keywords are your key to success. If you do not understand this and you want to just go and say, I can do this, I got this, you are going to go broke, be disappointed and not come back. But if you really think about it and you get more life experience, you're going to realize in the market, in the outside world, outside of Amazon, you still have to learn and you have to learn from somebody. Otherwise, you can't do it. You go to college, you learn things. You have a business, you learn. Every day is a learning experience and you learn from mentors. And that's how you climb the business ladder. So it's just the same. Amazon is a business. If you don't find a mentor to learn from, you're not going to go anywhere. That's interesting. So let's talk a little bit more about your business right now. Uh, you've been, you launched a few months ago. How many products do you have? How many products do you intend to have by the end of the year? And what's the plan in the next 12, 24 months? Okay, my first product I launched within three months of starting. Uh, a month later, uh, two months later, I launched two more simultane simultaneously. So my first one sold out, gone. My second two are halfway sold out and I'm on my way to my fourth. Because okay. this is a good one. It's year round, it's not seasonal, but it will sell good during uh, the holidays that are coming up. I want something extra in there for the holidays. All three should do well during the holidays because uh, okay. they're great gift ideas. What's your plan by end of year one, end of year two for your business? By the end of year two, I should be, uh, I'll be monitoring what's going on with the products I do have. I have a hundred set, uh, still ready to ship over for one. And, uh, when I sell, uh, I have 500 coming on the fourth one. When I hit 250, I'll send another 500 over and let that ride out and watch the PPC and see how it does and if it needs any optimization. So that's what I have up set up for the end. Uh, brand registry, I'm already working with that. I have some um, going on snail mail with uh, trademark engine and... <laughs> the government they're going to give it to me i can see it it's like right there oh can you do that oh i think it expired you think it expired you don't know okay well, let's try this again <laughs> but just remember don't get impatient don't get angry because all you have here on earth is time that's right so get it done and follow the process and and it will work out okay well, how many hours a week are you currently putting in Depending on what's going on in my life, as many as I can possibly do, um, I can put in, I'll, I like to do at least eight hours a day. You know, right. sometimes I don't even need to do that much because it's riding on its own and I'll take a day off and do something, but then I end up coming back because I can't stay away. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> I mean, you're working on, you're working on four products within, and you said you've, so you've been in the program for how long now so far? Six months? There, Yes. Six, okay, well, so six months, four products, that's pretty awesome. I mean, it's like, you know, a product every four to six weeks or something like that. So that's pretty amazing. Um, so 
just remember when you sell these products, that's your investment back into Amazon. Right. It's got, you've got to reinvest. It's like, okay, I made this money. Okay. That's how much I made this month. I can spend it. I said, okay, now how are you going to get your next product or how are you going to reinvest and get more product over for the first two years? You're building your business. That's what you're doing is you're building it. Okay. It's, it's not a quick money in uh, uh, stream that's coming in. That's going to compensate you for your job right now. It, it, you need to build it. Businesses don't get off the ground just like that. And then all of a sudden you're making money. Not even the biggest companies, not even uh, uh, whatever, uh, Foot Locker. You know, it took them years to build their brand and look at them now. So give yourself these two years and what you make, you reinvest and you will see because what I made with this product, I was able to buy two products with, okay? And, and send them over. What I make with these ones, I was able to get my third. And I still with, and that's only a quarter of the way through of the two products. So when I get to the other half, then I'll send more over the first one. As long as you monitor it and monitor it, make sure you don't go low, reinvest back into what you're doing and it'll keep going up. Then slowly you can take a little bit out, pay your electric bill, pay your water bill, but make sure it goes all back into reinvestment. So that's interesting that you're saying that. You're saying that one needs to go two years to building a business and someone watching would be like, wait a second, I can go work at McDonald's and make $10 an hour. You're trying to tell me that I'm, I need to keep working for the next two years mm -hmm. without making a penny? What? It's, this is how you build a business. It takes normally in general to grow a business. It's seven years to get out of the black. That's the norm. It takes seven years to get in out of the red into the black. But with Amazon, that's the amazing thing two years, two years, you can do this. So yes, it, you have to reinvest back into the business. If you don't reinvest, you make no money and therefore it fails. Right. So everything you do is geared towards reinvestment and growing, reinvestment and growing and reinvestment and growing. And by the time you turn around, you're like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, so you've launched four products or in the process of launching multiple products. Mm -hmm. Um, where are there some lessons learned from the first and the second and the third that you implemented in, in the, you know, the, the next product and the third and the fourth that you did differently? Or did you do exactly the same that you did with your first product? Oh, no. If I did everything the same, <laughs> I wouldn't do that well. It's always a learning process. Okay. So what you're doing is on my first one, great product. Okay. Read the reviews but I didn't read enough reviews. That's the thing, read more, read more because you don't know what you're missing on the guy who's down here, okay? If he's, if he's on a number three, why is he on a number three? Oh, geez, I've got that same bag. I need to change that out, mm. you know, because people are having issues with it. Then I read lower, it's the same thing, but I only took these top few, you know, top 10 and I didn't keep going. Read about 50 of them, sit and read them. And see what people are saying. So make sure before you buy your product, I say people do it. Okay, I have my product coming over. Okay, let me go read your reviews. No, that's backwards. Read all the reviews. Take your notes. And when you talk to your supplier, now tell them, I don't want this. I need this to change. And I need this. What can you do for me? And if they can fix it, go ahead. But remember, you've got other suppliers and tell them, I need this. I need that. I need this. Now, all your suppliers are going to come in. Some can help you. Some can give you certificates. Some cannot shoot, shoot, throw them away. Now your, your, your list of your suppliers is getting smaller. It's all about how you deal with your suppliers on what you can uh, generate, what you can generate and what you can get from them at a reasonable cost. But it all is going to feed off of these reviews, too. That's one of your key elements. If you don't read those negative reviews and you do the same thing, well, you're going to get negative reviews, too. And we want to avoid that. So read those reviews. It's really interesting. So I found that mine was seasonal, you know. So uh, although it does good for the rest of the year and it's good at Christmas time, too, it's still seasonal. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to work on these products that I'm working on and then compile one for the next season. Got and it. then I will do it and let it ride and see how it does. So you learn from one. So now I'm on to two other products. 
I see one, and now that I'm looking at it, what I see is people are um, not using it correctly. So I stipulate in the product, listen, this is for the average person, not for 500 pounds, like it says it'll hold, uh, you know, because it will hold this much weight, but if it's a stable object, because I've tried it, I'm like, sure, it'll hold it because it's not moving. That's just laws of physics, but human beings move. And when you move and push off, if you're 500 pounds, it's going to break. So these are things that you need to learn about your learn about your product first. Get those um, uh, samples, yeah. test it out, take yeah. photos, send it in. Don't go off of what's over there because it's generic and everybody has generic and you're just going to be one of the others. You need something pops. So read and know your product and 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 read those reviews and then fix it before it even gets there. What was the what was the, one of the biggest struggles you had when you first started? When I first started the the business business. Yes, of, I'm yeah. trying to think of the biggest struggle. It's it's still PPC. <laughs> PPC, okay. It's still PPC. Okay. <laughs> Little buggers. <laughs> you got to get it right, and it's a yeah. constant, uh, constantly optimizing until you do, and then when you do. Somebody throws a monkey wrench somewhere. So you got to like tweak it again and fix it. So just pay attention. Pay attention. This is your business. Pay attention. As, as long as you do, you can monitor. It's like sales are going up, sales are going down. Let's monitor it for a couple more days. Okay, it's going back up again like normal. Okay, it was just a bad day. You know, it could be a bad day. You could have four good days and one bad. And you can have another four good days and one bad. Well, maybe it's Throat Punch Tuesday and nobody wants to buy on this day. I don't know. Yeah. It's, you know, anything could be. It could be Monday. My, people have the Monday blues and don't feel like buying, you know. Okay. Um, do you think, so, I mean, you didn't start that long ago. You started, you know, within this year. Do yes. you think someone starting today still has the same chance as you did six months ago? Uh, or do you think Amazon is too saturated for anyone new starting out right now? No, everybody has a chance here. Mm. The, the Amazon is so big with, there are millions and millions of people in the United States and nobody wants the same product. Right. Everybody wants something different. If you walk into somebody's house and you look at your home, look at your house, and you've looked at somebody else's and you're like, oh, that's different. It's because they want something different. Okay. There's millions and millions, hundreds of millions of people in this world and everybody wants something different. And there's hundreds of millions of products, you know, and you look at um, helium 10 and you see uh, just by picking out one, I did something bizarre the other day. I said, okay, I'm going to try something weird. And I typed in the word hot dog. <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> Hot dog. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. You know, think outside the box. So I started scrolling down and scrolling down, and I'm looking because I'm I'm looking at the keyword. I want to get into my in, into my range. Of, I go with twenty five to three thousand. You know, that's my big gap. But I lower it in between the twenty and five. Um, so um, I'm looking and looking, and I start finding all these different products, and they're within range. Mm. They're uh, their search volume is good. Their uh, competition is low. I start pulling them up on Amazon and I start finding that their reviews are low. It's not saturated here. They've only been on for a little while. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could beat you at this. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Anybody can do it. There's so much out there. Just, you know, the platform that we have at BJK is amazing. Every once in a while, do something bizarre and think outside the box. And you know, I know, right? Find, yeah. Well, that's great. What were you, I mean, since you mentioned uh, BJKU, um, what were you looking for in a mentor when you were, when you started taking an interest in this business? Somebody who's humble. Okay. Somebody who's humble and, and you can see the knowledge, the knowledge is there. I want to give it to you. I'm here, you know, take a chance. You don't have anything to lose. Take a chance on this. And I've said, I've seen your videos a few times like, hmm. And then the mustache, that was a, that was a geese, geese seller. Yeah. Cause you're different. 
<laughs> okay. I don't want to see your Lamborghini. I could give two craps about your Lamborghini. I like my Prius, you yeah. know, uh, even if I have a million dollars, I'm going to stick with my, Pri I like it. You know, it's what I prefer. I'm not out there to show off. I'm not out there to show the things that I have or things that I want. Those are material. That doesn't, that doesn't tell me anything. What tells me something is how you're thinking. Some of the phrases that you put up, I've been watching them on Instagram as well. You know, these things resonate because they're true. Mm. You know, what do you have to lose? And if you don't do this, you know, you're going to have this. Follow this pattern. Is this what you're looking for? You know, it, it's, it's not only just, uh, it's not fluff, you know, you're general, you're genuinely talking to people okay. and it makes a difference. So okay. like, I th think on the third one, I watched you, I said, okay, I'm going to watch this all the way through. It was <laughs> catching me on YouTube, I think. Yeah. And, and I'm trying to watch my movie and you keep popping up on me. I'm like, Sup, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let me just take a chance and watch one, see what he has to say. I'm going to get into Amazon eventually or, or something like that. Sam Carter, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And then I watched your video all the way through. And by the time I was done, I was like, I like this guy. He's got something. It's like called the it factor. Yeah. So when I'm hiring people at my jobs, I hire people that have like that it factor. And mm. I always succeed with them. And so I, I, I have seen so many Amazon people trying to sell. Ugh. And each and every one, I was like, yeah, I've watched it. And thank you. I appreciate it. And I watched yours all the way through. And the first time I watched it all the way through, I said, he's got the it factor. Mm. And I clicked on it. And it was over since then. <laughs> all right. Um, what is the most valuable thing that we offer at BJK University for you? They're like, yeah, this, man, this is gold. Uh, over the shoulder. Okay, over you're talking about that. Is, Well, can you actually yeah. explain what that is for, for people watching? There's so many people that have such a difficult time finding product. Mm -hmm. uh, they're punching in numbers and uh, they look, but they're not really looking. They're looking for the product to jump at them instead of them going to find it. This gives you not only. Um, Lorraine, what is it? Can you explain what it is? Because someone watching right now may not know what you're talking about. Okay. Um, you're looking for a product that's going to sell. No, no, uh, no That I'm you can about, sell. I'm talking about what the over the shoulder is. Over the shoulder, you have two mentors that open up Helium 10 for you. And they actually search for a live product that they've never seen before mm -hmm. and show you step-by-step step how to do it. And they, they show you that you punch in, these are the numbers to punch in, here's how you do it, here's where you do it, and let's see what comes up. If the number's too high, it shows you what numbers to tweak a little bit. And when it comes down, they start scrolling down and they start looking at products with you. And in no time, they find one. Mm -hmm. um, and and it then it happens on Wednesdays, right? Live on Wednesdays. Yes, it happens week. live on Wednesdays and with Hend and Amar. And they're amazing. They're mm -hmm. a great team and they're here to help. Uh, once they show that, they take it a step further. Okay, we like this. This looks good. Now they're going to open up Helium 10 on the x ray up above and they're going to show you the criteria. The criteria that, that BJK goes by, they want to see if it all matches. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go step by step to show you the criteria. So you know when you're looking, well, what are they talking about? Well, here it is right here, step by step. Not, okay, this looks good, that looks good. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 slow down. No, they go one, two, do you see this? Do you see this? Okay, look, wait a minute, I may want this product by the time they're done looking <laughs> at it. I'm like, wait a minute, maybe me too. we can all do it. <laughs> it's pretty good. I just finished watching the Wednesday one this morning and That's it awesome. was pretty good. Yeah, it was yeah. really good. They show you step by step everything. Okay. Also, another one that I like is the new one that you're doing. That one is that one is gold. That yeah, one is the super private gold. sessions. The private session, yes, mm -hmm. for that PPC, the one that you're doing, yeah. and the one for the product research. This product research one gives people a little bit more. Um, 
uh, what is that called when you have, <laughs> it gives them more confidence yeah. in what they're doing mm. because it, they can, they can see that, yeah, I'm on the right track. And if there's something that they miss, okay, okay. I see that I missed this. And so this is not a good product and why it's not and why I'll struggle to sell it. I've seen people say, well, I can sell it anyways. And, and a month later, they're coming back. How come my PBC is not working? I'm like, we told you it's not a good product. Yeah. You know, we told you that the search volume is 192,000, but you want to sell it, but you only want to give 30 away as a, as a giveaway. I'm like, yeah. we told you, you know, it, but you got this, <laughs> you know, if you listen, you're going to get it. Mm. it it's going to all make sense to you and, and you're going to be able to follow this platform. You'll be more successful than giving, making yourself struggle, you know, uh, and be disappointed and maybe walk away. Don't walk away. Okay. Don't walk away. You can do this. Interesting. Were you, were you hesitant at first? And uh, if so, why? I think with any new business, there's always a set of anxiety that goes with it. Will mm. this work? Should I do this? Is it really good? So I do research. I love to research. I can research day and night. So I research Amazon and then I researched BJK. And I went on Reddit on you. I think you and one other person were the only two that didn't have a negative review. I'm like, okay, well, there's nothing bad on Reddit for them. I'm like, so I want to make sure. So, I mean, I do background on YouTube <laughs> to make sure it's not a scam. I'm like, is this a scam? Is he really real? Is he really that humble? Really? Okay, <laughs> let's find out. So, yeah, uh, uh, it, there's always a set of anxiety that goes with it. You have to, if you're going to make this decision to start this business, make it with confidence and make it knowing no matter what, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to make this work. And if I need help, I know where I can go and get the help to make it work. If I make a mistake, it's okay. Not a problem. I can fix it. Mistakes can be fixed. Okay. Or I can learn from it and challenge what I'm doing now to make it better so that it will work. And here's the perfect platform to do it because like I said, everybody's here to help. It's real interesting that you said, uh, you know, research and due diligence and so on, because, you know, a lot of times I think what happens is we allow like doubts and fears and what this person said and what that person said really impact our decision-making or decision not making, right? And instead of just simply doing research, so that was really interesting. They actually touched on that. That's awesome. If things are negative in your life, the best thing to do is move it away from your life. Yeah. I mean, it's hard when, when we're talking like family that want to, because I've seen students that say, well, my wife says, um, I'm just setting myself up for failure. And it's like, well, and a student came back and said, show her this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, my wife seems to have changed her mind. Like, <laughs> you see? Yeah. You can work, work with, work with the ones you love, that you care, care about, you know, if, if, if they feel this, it's their anxiety too. Remember they're having anxiety and don't want to see you fail. So you have to go in with a positive attitude. Keep that positive attitude. You're here for a reason. God doesn't put you anywhere. You're not supposed to be. Interesting. That's very interesting. That's well, the way I look at it. Well, that's awesome. What would be your, um, your number one advice for someone just starting out? Someone is, uh, whether if they're just starting to, to, to research about selling on Amazon or wanting to enroll in BJK University or is already a student and they're just kind of, you know, getting the, the, the gears uh, moving. Take really good notes. Mm. Take really good notes. Your first attempt going through the classes, you're going to take a ton of notes. Mm but you're going to understand it as time goes by. Take those notes and re condense it. So you know, this is week one, video one. It was welcoming. Okay, I understand that. Get to where you're at like week three, even if it's week two, if there's something valuable in there, put that down on your first page. Then go to week three. If what's valuable in video one, video two, video three. So instead of going to the Greek, where do I find this? Where do I find that? Where do I find this? Mm. Hey, take your notes. You can find it yourself. You big girl, you big boy. Find your own notes. <laughs> <laughs>
So you're you're really very big notes. on you're very big on research and notes. Where 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 did that come from? Well, why is that? Why that's really really interesting. It's how we learned in school. Mm. It's how we maintained. Um, every time you write something down, um, I I've tested this out once, uh, more than once. Mm. I've learned uh, by listening. Took a test and did well. Went back a week later took the same test, forgot some of it. I learned the same, the next week I learned and everything I learned, I wrote it down. I took the chapter and wrote every chapter out. I took a test, I passed. I took a test a week later, I passed. Because I wrote it down, I remembered what I was writing. And by taking really good notes and then I condensed it down to the most important information. And I wrote it down. So when these questions come up again, I know the answer. I wrote it down. I, I've researched this. I've written it down. It, it is an easy way to maintain it. That's awesome. I mean, I, um, you know, I, I've never been a, a big note taker, but when I do take notes, it's usually the things that I really want to remember. And mm -hmm. I don't just try to remember them. It's actually write them down and write them down somewhere where I can come back and and revisit and revisit. And, uh, and that's why they always say, you know, like, especially for your daily affirmations, it's really important that you write them down every single day. That way it just kind of like becomes a reality and just really becomes uh, uh, engraved in your soul, engraved in your brain. And, and it becomes right. like a second nature, you know? You're learning a different way of living in the business world and how you do business. And it is a way of living, you know, it, it, mentally and emotionally. You know, I can do this. I got it. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it, it solidifies the knowledge that you have, that you're gaining, that you're maintaining and retaining. That's awesome. Uh, Lorraine, do you think anybody, and I mean anybody, I mean anybody can do this business or do you Absolutely. need to have specific qualifications? Absolutely. I sit at my desk sometimes and I'm looking at things. My granddaughter is here. Mm. She's grandma, look at this. What about this? You know? Wait, let me look at that again. <laughs> I'm like, hey, she made me onto something. So it's it's from children to adults can learn. As long as you can learn, you can do it. Interesting. What would be the the one thing that somebody should be expecting coming in? Put in the work. Put in the work. You should be expecting to put in the work. Um, you should be ex expected uh, to learn mm. what is being taught and not have somebody do it for you. Mm. Uh, when you get to a certain stage that you're in your business, sure, you can have somebody make your PP or do your PPC for you because you've learned how to do it already. But right. I have so much going on. Maybe I can have somebody do this one for me, you know, but you monitor it in the end anyway. So you're still doing it, but you, you know, because they may mess it up and there goes your money. So if they do it, it's working great. If they do it, optimize it. So it's no longer their work. It's now yours, but you're working off of what they started. So learn, uh, it, Every time you learn something, every time you pick up a nugget, um, it just is enhances your business and, and it makes you feel better inside too. Yeah. Uh, do your best to keep the negativity away. Um, it, it is difficult because we live in a rugged world. Let me tell you, and business can be rugged. But here, you're at home. I don't have to listen to Karen over there with her negative Nancy attitude, you know, and, and that's affecting me. I'm like, I've got my pets here. I've got my animals. Everything is, you know, kumbaya over here. So it resonates onto my business. Put some good music on, you know, if you like some rock and roll while you're working, Hey, jam out, you know, just, you know, remember you may miss something with all that other stuff going on. <laughs> so put on something Zen, something, you know, that's really neat, you know, and, you can focus, keep things focused, take deep breaths. I always take 10 deep breaths and shove that oxygen up to my brain before I get started. It's a, believe it or not, it works. It worked when I was taking exams. It works before meetings. It works when I'm working in my business, sending that oxygen up to your brain 
opens everything up. <laughs> well, that's very interesting. I mean, I know I've gotten a whole bunch of nuggets here, uh, and I know those watching uh, absolutely did as well. Lorraine, I hope so. appreciate your time. Thank you very much for doing this. Uh, usually you. interviews sometimes go longer, but uh, you, you gave us so much, such precise time. And uh, I mean, your answers were just boom, 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 that I, you know, that I think we got everything we need here. Well, uh, can't wait to celebrate all of your successes. Uh, and uh, those of you that are, Me too. <laughs> those of you that are new to BJK University or looking to enroll, once you do, be sure to look for Lorraine. She'll be um, more than happy to, to help you out. And uh I uh, show you the way. So uh, until next time. Aloha. Mahalo.